Folks, I'm down in our deep ravine here, and we're late August, getting close to September, and I just uh, sowed another 10,000, at least another 10,000 seed. I still have a bunch more left in this bag here. Trachycarpus seeds, and I've been sowing them along the ravine and in the uh, creek as well. The creek's dried up. I don't think there's any puddles left in it. It's still moist down here though, but definitely uh, showing the drought here for sure. But look at the palms how nice they look. They're super healthy and uh, we don't do anything with them. They're various sizes. There's some way bigger ones over there. And uh, we're under story of uh, cedar trees, alders, Dougley, Douglas fir, grand fir, lots of uh, understory plants like uh, western sword ferns, uh, salal and organ grape down here. And uh, this gets really soft and wet in the winter time. You've seen my videos and um, these guys thrive. I gotta watch where I walk because there's so many palm seedlings down here. There's thousands of palm seedlings along this creek bed and uh, they're all very happy. So I've sowed them all the way down to that end of the property, to the far end of the property. And I've got them in the back of, the, even farther up the back of the property in the slope. And uh, let's just see if we do have some uh, water in here. I don't think there is any water left in this creek. I think it's all gone, but Let's see. Oh yeah, totally dried up. And then you can see the bigger palms. There and there, like I say, various sizes. Trachycarpus fortunae, variant swampsonii, and they're all through this forest here. And uh, like I say, growing on their own with no fuss and no care. It's like they're growing in the wild. They are growing in the wild. It's like they're growing wild. But I did actually sow these seeds, okay? And uh, there are thousands and thousands of palm trees growing in this uh, deep ravine. Very warm day here today, almost kind of muggy. It's around uh, 24 degrees Celsius, something like that, but it feels warmer because it's muggy. And uh, I, I can feel the humidity is definitely higher for sure. Maybe it's just because I'm in this ravine, I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for updates wintertime when this is full of water and mud. Cheers.